fam happy saturday and welcome back to the vlog so today is a very exciting day because it's finally the day of the women's um i am a vital voice conference at morgan state university that i'll be a panel member on or a panelist on i'm just really excited i, I still don't know what they're going to ask me <laughs> i should probably go over that like how i'm going to answer certain questions um but right now it's 7 a.m the sun is literally just starting to rise it looks beautiful out and i'm waiting on my makeup artist to get here um she is doing my face yeah i was gonna do my own makeup but i was like you know since this is probably gonna be like professionally photographed and stuff like that i want like a professional mua to come do my makeup so yeah i'm just chilling um got back from new jersey yesterday and yeah just been relaxing and enjoying our home because i was really like homesick y'all and i don't think i've ever no have i been no i have been away from home before but like not by myself and not for like a whole week but either way i'm back now and i'm excited for today so can't wait for the mua to get here so we can finally get started makeup artist left um a few hours ago actually and um she did my makeup i just told her to do like a little daytime smoky eye basically i'm wearing this like crisscross top and it has a little tie here and then i'm wearing some black pants and my like tan christian louboutins this is not really white this is like cream so i thought it would go okay with these shoes but i'm already like oily if you can tell and um we are about to just leave out i wanna be with you always cause that is what my heart says that's what my heart says i wanna be with you always you are my world in every place it's the things i Starting that YouTube business 
was, first I didn't even realize that YouTube was a thing, you know. Um, I thought that people just upload like how-to videos. I didn't know that there are followers and um, supporters that are actually subscribed to these channels out there. So when I started watching, I was just kind of fascinated and I literally just kind of thought to myself, like, I can, I can do this, you know, this, this is something that I feel like I can do. Um, so I started out just uploading clothing hauls and makeup related videos, which was something that I was really into back then. And then when um, I met my husband and our relationship kind of took off and our supporters started to grow, um, that allowed us to kind of migrate what I was doing as Miss Lawn into more of like a couple style channel. And I think what keeps me going and what motivates me to put out content is honestly the bond that I develop with our supporters. You think that, you know, some, some people are just like holding up a camera and they're just doing this for show, but you genuinely get attached to the supporters. You start to know their names and where they're from and you start to recognize all those supporters who are supporting you and commenting every single week. And then, um, in addition, I really enjoy video editing. I really put thought into our videos and into our content and it's something that I genuinely like to do. My why has to be, I just really love connecting people to um, their interests. I initially started Instagram for selfish reasons. It was just for me to kind of have a calendar of what was going on in the city. Um, YouTube is a, a real like do-it-yourself type of business. So I would say that it's the one type of business out there that does not have a lot of resources. Um, you really have to do a lot of your own research. There's no how-to guide on how to build a channel, how to um, maintain your subscribers. YouTube has its own formula. What may work for one person may not work for you. So you really can't look at the next person and com uh, compare that person to your channel and how quickly they're going. Sometimes uh, YouTube videos and YouTube channels just take off for different reasons that we may not know. So I always love reading what other thought leaders are writing through Forbes, through Entrepreneur, through typical publications, and then I like to look at uh, quantitative data. So looking at Nielsen reports, Nielsen's very good about showing diverse reports. So they had a report from, I think, two years ago called Our uh, Black Women, Our Science, Our Magic, and it kind of just gives all the information about black women. There's people looking at you. Oh, oh my gosh. People looking at you acting a fool. <laughs> Look who came to support. Was you nervous? <laughs> a little bit. Did, was any of y'all um, YouTubers? I didn't meet any. Did anybody come up to you, babe? They didn't come up to me. The people behind me said, we follow y'all. Oh, what did you I have to go to Bath and Body Works. They are having so many sales. They are? This is right up my alley. Thank you, man. Oh, wow. What's that for, Mom? It's your birthday, Mom? <laughs> what are you doing? I think she... <laughs> she is crazy. Hey, guys. So we just got home um, from the conference. And I was like, let me just go ahead and give them a recap now. Because both Henry and I are super tired. And after we film this, we're just going to relax for the rest of the evening. But um, the conference was really good. Um, it was really nice. It was intimate. Um, I was able, of course, to give people advice on like starting their own business or like their YouTube channel um, and just give advice on things that helped us grow um, to make our channel successful. I think that I did a pretty good job like in the beginning I was a little nervous but I wasn't that nervous to begin with and over time I just felt like more comfortable as I answer each question um but yeah I think I would definitely like do that again like uh, our panel was also full of um bloggers and I was the only one who did YouTube so I would like to do this again for maybe something that's like more YouTube focused I guess and then have like audience members who are interested in growing their own channel like specifically audience members who are interested in growing their own channel because I think that would be like really nice and um yeah it's just so much information to get from YouTube that you just sometimes can't find on the internet um but yeah I really enjoyed it I thought it was really great but you want um tell them what you thought hey y'all so I thought the conference was it was cool it was different um never it was a, it was a lot of a lot of women I guess because it's women it conference <laughs> um so I was like one of the 
only guys there. Uh, but it was it was very good to see all of the different um, women come together who own their own businesses mm -hmm. and provide value added feedback to each other on what to do, how to get started. Um, so it was a lot of different um, a lot of different panels. I think one was about loans and how to get acquired business loans then um, had another panel about global influence and then had the panel about uh, social media uh, vlogging blogging um, which the one Lon was on um, we're going to add some clips definitely think that Lon did a great job um, on her first event first I wonder if the people even knew that first, tell that first of many um, definitely held down the Hen and Lawn brand um, and some of the HR fam was was there so we appreciate y'all supporting and coming out but it was exciting it was exciting to see it, it definitely for for me sitting in the audience it opened my mind to a lot of different things that we can do mm -hmm. and I think that's that's gonna be big because it showed that hey we're not limited to what we think in our mind like if we just Seeing it really opened up some ideas, and y'all know when we start to think about ideas, start stuff start to happen. So, so actually, he and I just got back from traveling last night. Me yesterday, um, yesterday during the day. So we're both tired. Henry actually flies out again tomorrow, and he'll be in Seattle this week. So we got the house to ourselves. We're gonna turn up. We're gonna party. She happy, we yo. gonna turn up. She's she fronting for y'all. She's sick. <laughs> I'm not saying, I mean, I wish we could be together, of course. Like, I was just traveling and then I come back and then he's leaving for another week. Like, I wish we were able to be out of town at the same time so we could come home to each other. But we only have today because he's leaving bright and early tomorrow morning. So, but we Bummer. did We did have some exciting news Go to ahead. throw into this. Uh... All right, y'all. So, we got some exciting news for y'all. Um, I know we told y'all that we had this big trip plane long mm -hmm. wouldn't let me give you all the details but outside of that um our work schedule situation allowed us to plan another trip and this trip i can give you the details of can't give you the details of the other trip but me and lawn are going to the dr mm. going back to the dr for a little quick relaxation trip so not sure if we're gonna vlog on this one yet but we need i just need to get away from all types of technology yeah we just need a rest especially with um like traveling for the last two weeks on you know for each other it's just been a little whirlwind so when we had a little break in our schedule we just planned a trip and we go into the dr literally just planned it off the whim we haven't been since before we got married we were supposed to get married there and then of course the hurricane and then happened. Sent the hurricane and we had to switch the location to mexico so yeah it's going down in the D R. Yeah, so it's lit. Um, I guess we can end this vlog because it's long enough. 